In today's episode, you are going to learn how to change the background of an image in Adobe Photoshop or how to create the bokeh background in Adobe Photoshop. Coming up. Hey, what's up? This is Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In today's episode, you are going to learn how we can easily change the background of an image and create or fake a bokeh background effect in Photoshop very easily in few simple steps. So this episode is going to be a very fun episode. Make sure you stay till the end of this video. And this video is in English language. If you want to learn this in Hindi, go check out the description below and you will find a link to the Hindi tutorial. And before we go any further, please do subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed. And to subscribe, just click the big red button below this video and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. That way you will not miss any new video from this channel. Having said that, let's get started. Double click it and first press auto, bring down the exposure, increase the contrast, increase the vibrance and saturation, take the temperature towards the blue, go to the lens correction, remove chromatic compression and enable profile correction, press OK, Control J to duplicate it, Control T to transform and flip vertically and press enter create a mask choose the gradient black to transparent gradient press ok click and drag it up to remove this from here and mix it properly select this layer ctrl T to transform and click and drag to scale it up and mix it with the background Press enter. Now select this one, both of them, control E to merge them and call it BG. For background, create a duplicate copy of it by pressing control J, command J. Bring the child on the background. Press OK. Ignore this warning. Control T and resize the child you want. Maybe something like this. Place it on the proper position, press enter, select the background copy, go to the filter, blur gallery and choose tilt shift and click and drag this point down around the feet over here, click and drag this line, adjust this as well and place it on a proper position, drag this up a little bit, something like this, bring it down a little bit further, increase the blur and press OK. Adjust it and press OK and select the boy layer now, zoom in, place it over here, bring it down a little bit, create a layer mask, rename it as boy so that we can track it, zoom in on the hands over here, you can see, and select the brush tool, this grass brush, which is a default one, go to the brush settings, settings and uncheck color dynamics and choose the black color and start painting oops we have selected the layer instead of mask select the mask and now paint in and that way it is going to create realistic grasses create a layer under it call it shadow choose the brush tool soft as brush with 10% opacity black color 
and start painting over here to make this area a little dark or to create the shadows and create the shadows on the left side because light is coming from the right side shadow has to be on the right side left side and make it smaller something like this zoom in on the hairs choose the mask and with the smaller brush paint and remove this white background and choose the smudge tool and with the smudge tool and brush you can try different brushes spatter brushes and create this kind of a effect with the help of this so that we get the hair first now create a curves adjustment clip it under the mask drag it down little bit from the highlight create a point okay close it and create a new blank layer change this layer blend mode to soft light choose the brush tool soft as brush and go to the swatches select this color let's say this one light or less saturated orange and paint on the face low down its opacity and choose another layer and color the background different colors on the background create another layer change layer blend mode to color doge or linear doge choose the brush tool and choose the orange color increase the size of the brush and paint here with 100% opacity now control T and scale it up so that it gets spread everywhere and place it on a proper position you want the light to be and create another layer change layer blend mode to let's say linear dose and with 10% opacity start painting on this side and if you think you have pasted it over light and then you can use the eraser to remove it from the face or from the boy you can see by turning it on and off now press C to crop and crop from the top create a come over here and select this color balance tool and adjust all the sliders to get the look you want with the help of different channels and create another one and adjust that as well create a solid color and that should be the orange change this layer blend mode to soft light and lower down its opacity or let's choose this one or something like this purple or pink and then lower down its opacity maybe something like this 12 percent create a curves adjustment click and create a point and drag it down to make it darker choose the mask and paint over on this area so that this doesn't become dark With 10% opacity you can see by turning it on and off and place this insects over here and place it on a proper position zoom in create a duplicate copy of it control U and bring the lightness to zero press ok control T to transform and right click and select flip work horizontally sorry flip vertical and drag it down and adjust its proper position with the help of distort option so that we can paint in the shadows and once it is over here rasterize layer go to the filter choose blur and choose gaussian blur and choose the blur you want maybe something like this 9.4 press ok lower down its opacity something like this bring it down under this insect layer and then control T to adjust it once again and right click and adjust its 
proper position and distort it so that it looks realistic and flip horizontally or vertically and place it over here and you want you can lower down its opacity and this is our final result let me place my watermark over here and this is is our final result so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did please hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below and i'm happy to share with you that i have just started a premium membership for my premium tutorials which you can join with as low as eight dollars per month and with that premium membership you can have the access to all of my premium tutorials which includes free access to my photoshop actions image overlays and brushes and other presets so make sure you check that out and if you want to support this channel please do become a premium member and if you want 439 dollar premium courses absolutely free just go to my website harshwadhanart.com and just sign up to my newsletter and i have a facebook group which is called the lens of you where you can post your images you can ask your questions you can get feedback on your work or if you are stuck anywhere with regard to photography lightroom photoshop photo editing then you can ask me there that is a spot group just leave a request to join that and link to that as well is in the description section below and i have one more hindi channel which is called the skills hacks please do subscribe that as well if you want to learn the internet money making skills and other useful skills a link of that channel is also in the description section below so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you bye bye